In 2014, the three legacy accounting bodies agreed to merge under the CPA designation. The merger required approvals from 40 accounting bodies, including national associations for CAs, CMAs, and CGAs, and the regional bodies for each of the three groups in 10 provinces and two territories. It also required approval in Bermuda, where accountants were regulated under Canadian accounting standards. Of course, recently both Quebec and Ontario withdrew from the newly merged national body, but that's another story. Our point in this presentation is that, when Canadians think of accountants, they think of taxation. Take a look at the word cloud illustration used to introduce the article in 2014. Tax and taxation are clearly the most prominent words. We think it's pretty clear that Canadian businesses associate accountants with tax expertise. According to a study released in 2010 by Statistics Canada, a huge majority of businesses of all sizes rely on public accountants to file their taxes. In fact, 75% of all businesses with 20 or more employees outsource their tax filing to accountants. And between 61% and 69% of our smallest businesses, those with fewer than 20 staff do the same. At the Small Business Analyst Society of Canada, we understand that all Canadian businesses value their public accountants primarily because of their income tax expertise. We developed our Business Analyst Technician program to provide accounting students with the rudimentary training they need to quickly become useful to public accountants serving Canada's small businesses. The accounting occupation is one of Canada's largest. Accountants and bookkeepers make up more than 2% of Canada's workforce. These skilled professionals serve all of Canada's approximately 4 million businesses. About 3.5 million of these businesses have four or fewer employees. The skills learned by technicians serving the small business sector are easily transferable to large and mid-sized businesses and to organizations in Canada's public sector.